Hello, my name is Farman, and welcome back to episode 10 of our Let's Play on A Taste of Dummy Girl. Um, right. Oh god. So you may hear that the combine is going. Oh shit, it's, it's really fucking loud. <laughs> so the combine's going. This is field 10, which is nearly finished. I thought I'd get a little bit further ahead before I started the recording just to make life of that little bit easier. You may notice the sprayer and the sprayer tank. Uh, I downloaded them off screen and put them in. Uh, the sprayer is off Mod Hub. And the tank is off the official website. Uh, what else have I done? Um, nothing much really. We need to buy... Oh, I think I've downloaded a few other things. Oh yes, we have a new feeder that can come in. This is on Mod Hub as well. We've got some skid steers. Um, we've got another slurry tanker we can buy to get rid of the Marshall one. Nothing really in here that we need. Um, mowers. We need to get one of these at some point. So we can go out and start making some actual hay or some silage. We might. Uh, well, yeah, we'll definitely start making some hay at some point we need a tether as well if we're gonna start making some hay uh, what do, what do we need we need a mower a mower tether and a rake and we haven't got none of them so we are gonna need some serious stuff which is why I'm hoping this will bring in some serious cash um, uh, I'll just take you through tractors again I think I've got some new ones okay no I don't I don't have any new ones fertilizer spreaders we've got the um, premium this is the one we had last time which we did f put in the soil uh, slurry on the not slurry fertilizer on the grass fields I've also got this cedar um, the reason I've got this one and instead of that other one is because when I was trying to use it on course play the other one kept crashing the game um, like totally, I'd put it on um, cosplay and I'd walk away and my game would just crash. Uh, and then I'd put another cedar on on a different map and it wouldn't it wouldn't crash the game. So it was so I had to just get rid of it. Uh, if I can find out where I've put it. Oh, so this is kind of all the machinery. So we've got the plow, which I don't think I showed you last time. So there's the plow. Uh, it is a five four zero. Which one is it? Is it Lincoln? Or Lim? Whatever. Uh, the Cultivator, which is a Agrismim, I think. Uh, and another. this is the same make as that plow. Um, it does the job. I've, I've got courses all set up for all the fields. Not all the fields, for both for both the arables, which is both cultivating, both plowing, and both seeding, and both spraying. Um, but the good thing is you can just use the plowing course with the cedar. Well, let's right, let's do this. We'll do a bit of harvesting because we never really do any. So yeah, we we're, the next field we've got to try and tackle is field 22, which is a nice size field to say the least. It should get us quite a bit of cash, um, which should then boost us up to where we need to get mowers and stuff. <clears throat> I'm going to try and find some cheaper mowers. Uh, if I can't find any cheaper than that £9,000 one. I'm trying to find the Kevlin one that we had. Or that we were going to have. But I can't seem to find a link for it anywhere. So, so the John Deere's ones will do. Right. So we'll go down to field 22 with this thing. Now I am going to start Sandy Bay probably when this hits episode 11 or 12. I'm going to bring Sandy Bay back. Uh, I'm also going to download an absolute crap ton of tractors and machinery just so we've got something to actually work with that's different. I think we're going to go, we'll go for the newest version of Sandy Bay, which I think is that little remake of it, I think which is a bit smaller. Right. 
so yeah, um, we're going to do this field whilst this guy gets set up in the other field of where he is actually doing something whilst he fills up. Whilst he fills up, we'll take the 8340 to go empty the trailer. And then we'll and then we'll probably get the big massy back in field 10 plowing just to get it sort of going again. Uh it turns we actually we're actually losing money every 12 hours. Every time it hits midnight, uh we're losing money not gaining money. That's because of the machinery maintenance. So we're not actually if you have enough cows or you actually can make enough money you can if you have enough cows so when the milk sells you actually don't lose I found anyway you don't actually lose any money you gain money which is actually quite kind of good so we need to get that up or we actually need to just get the amount of milk that we're making up And then we should be in the good. Um, I don't think this combine's going to go. I've I've changed my mind. It's it's big enough just to do this with, and you don't need to add a trailer. Uh, we are definitely going to upgrade some of the tractors. We're definitely going to get that Fiat that people have been asking for. People have even asked for that Fiat to have a loader on. So we may swap the loader from the 8340 to that Fiat. I think it's a Fiat. No, it's not a Fiat. It is a... It is a Fiat Agri. No, oh, it still is a Fiat. I mean, it fucking get in. So that'd be kind of good. Um, eventually, I want to turn some more grass fields into actual arable fields. I'm looking at field maybe four and five down the bottom there, and then maybe twenty-three. So we've got one, two. So we'll have five arable fields which would be quite good to have because five arable fields full of canola would be quite a nice money quite a nice money maker right well, we are going to have to sort of run a bit of the crop over here which is really bad because that's actually money that's being lost right so if we Sort of cut this. We may need to do that bit actually. We may need to do this headland actually, so I think we'll hold him off there. So yeah, these these loader brackets aren't actually attached to this, as in they do come off. Um it is if you want the 8340 you have to go onto FS UK and it's there it's in the Ford 40 series and then the loaders are a bit further down they are the AIO loaders whatever that is um, and they you literally just drive this tractor up to the uh, loader things you press X to attach them then you hold Q um, control and you can actually move the loader bits or the arms into where you want them and then you can actually move the little control box in the cab to where you want it and then you press the big green tick in the middle and that's it so it's not it's not too hard so this one doesn't actually have a loader on that's why I wanted to buy this loader pack or get get it I should say because then it means we've actually got some stuff well we've, we can actually use this for something and it's not just going to be our little hauling tractor now what I have realized is if you're stacking bales something that I for completely forgot when I was selling all the straw bales off screen if you use that bale trailer you can actually I forgot you can actually put the ramps 
you can actually put the ramps down and put them into place so you can actually get this thing to actually get you can actually put this on the loader on the bale trailer and actually transport this back to whatever field so you'd have to drive them both back I could completely overlook this which was quite a funny thing because I spent I spent one load driving the trailer back and then driving this and then I realized oh yeah he's got ramps so we're on 13,000 so we're not too bad so yeah my, my steering wheel is still buggered I might try the Xbox controller uh, I have a G27 steering wheel which I think one commenter was asking so yeah I think if we have five fields we should five arable fields we'll be good for however long we want to play yes it is a bit of an arse when you have to start again it is irritating As you can see, this dominator doesn't have the best turning circle. Right. So we're going to... We'll do this headland. I can't speed it up. I have no editing software. Otherwise, I'd sort of just speed it up. So we're going to do this headland. Because once we get round to the other bit, I want him to go straight down the other side and not get stuck on the bit that we had to put the combine in to get this going. So it's all been fertilised. It's all it's all been done. Um, I've done all the courses, which you can probably see. Yeah, there we go. Uh, field twenty two only has a ploughing course because the cultivator and the seed are both overhang enough to actually do um, to actually do it properly. Field ten, I made the ploughing course that little bit too small. So well, that little bit too wide. Uh, no, yeah, too small. So when it comes to corners and that, it's always missing bits, which is really annoying. But yeah, I like this trap. I mean, combine. I don't know why it has a dirt texture inside though. Unless it, unless it's harder to just keep them on the outside, and it's easy just to put it on the inside as well. So we'll do this headland and then do this headland and then we can set this guy going on his own which I'll probably stop probably stop recording once that happens because it's nothing really much from there on in and then we'll finish this once this is once this field is finished completely um, hopefully we should be getting somewhere near money to actually start buying all the stuff to do the hay and silage but not silage bales but hay anyway and get and when we can make some money off hay bales and stuff if we ever get to that point because what we could do is um, whilst one tractor is actually doing all the work for the fields we could actually do start mowing and making some hay uh, with another and then stack the bales up on the trailer We'd have to get the Fiat though, we'd have to get another tractor and it'd be quite hard with just one. So we'd have to get the Fiat in just to, I don't know, we'd have to get the Fiat in either to do all the work on the uh, on the ploughs and that, or actually have the Fiat on the bale trailer just, just for the bale trailer. 
Well, we can have any tractor really. It's not. It's not too much of an importance to have just that one. Right, so we'll do this headland. So it's on 56% anyway. So it's going to be a bit of a shorter video, but it is literally just going to be harvesting. But we'll probably go set the Massey up, actually, on the ploughing. I do like this combine. We'll finish this like eight. Right. And then we'll set this guy going like that. We'll go buff, 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 buff. And then we'll get this guy going. So we need the plow first. the plow up. I've never understood farm sim. Why whenever you like sort of press acceler the accelerator down it always seems to be like in the game that they're always going flat out. Right, field 10 plow. First waypoint. Let's just sort of get him somewhere near. Uh, activated beacons always on. And drop the plow and off he goes. The plow does get stuck from time to time. I don't know why it does that, but and it also does a little hop as well. But anyway, I'm gonna edit I'm gonna cut the video here. Or end the video here. So thank you all so much for watching, leave a like down below if you enjoyed, subscribe more today and I shall see all of you in the next video. Happy farming, bye bye.